carry on. It's been a show kicking the ball with you. I gotta go, so I can get on to you. That's the witty ass saying, you know what I'm saying? Like, boy, half ass and we just tired ass, no more fast. Boy, don't you know a dumb gonna get mad at me and call it stupid ain't nothing but a jackass? We call these ghetto proverbs while we're from my mama and grandma and spit so many of them because we published the motherfucking book. All right? So I wrote this poem in honor of them because they all used to spit them all day long. It's like a camel spit at you. So I named this poem My Two Headed Camel. All right? My mama was a two headed camel and a gamble for her life in them Florida swan lands. Blessed offhand with the price demands of a permanent town. But the gambling vice of life's precise reprimands, she was blind this man. My mama was a two headed camel and a gamble for her life in them Florida swan lands. Blessed off hand with the price demands of a permanent tan, but the gambling vice of life's precise rubber man, she played with the ice of a cool ass hand. Now the dangerous heat of the tropic lowlands, she was determined to teach her claim. So you can say, we were learning the ways of woman and man, the underhand and the bland, with our youthful yearnings burning in the beat sand. Now I know my mama having two heads sound unsound and unfound, but understand, the arm span of poverty's right hand, her purse strands were trying to withstand. Since there was no husband to lend a healthy hand, my single mama would call mama for a helping hand. And the seriousness of this twist caused two heads to ban. When mama went to make that money stack, keeping us kids, grandmama was bent to take up that slack. But when that bike you ride in life is not fit to stand, your immediate clan got to become a strict kickstand. All hands who grew up in the land of second hand, y'all know for sure this is how we had the plan. Can I get an amen? amen. Whether it was grandma being informal or the mentality of my mama, I was food in the car, a reality drama by the superb ghetto proverbs that their minds were inclined to rip. No, no, y'all say, what's ghetto proverbs? You know the most suave little words. Boy, bullshitting yourself like you sitting in your own shit. <laughs> Cause you trying to get nothing and goddamn it, that's all you gonna get. You know the most stick from the ground shit. My mother's always promised to spit quick. Um, my mama once told me, boy, your feet can't go forward if you're constantly putting your ass on backwards. <laughs> I was brand what this meant. She said, darling, you better dream of silk boxes in the present while you and cotton drawers out of the future gonna have your ass wearing diapers. <laughs> My grandma used to say, darling, don't bring shame in your family name. I walk around here with an old $50 hat on a 10-cent brain. <laughs> now, being 22 months from 10, I'm not too bad couldn't comprehend. So I went to my other mother, and she put her two cents in. She said, boy, you better use your head for something other than a hat rack in this game or the roll of dollars. Life gonna see your ass with nothing but change. Uh, my mama was a two-headed cannibal whose mouth was a richer than got a mother with. Now, grandma was spiritually slick. My mama talked a lot of shit, and I'd be damned if them ghetto proverbs they didn't both spit. Mama often warned me about drinking the Kool-Aid that somebody else made without seeing the spoon, the pitcher, or the mixture. <laughs> You say, boy, if you gonna buy your breath when they got here selling you out, you deserve that cow that's gonna bullshit you. <laughs> I asked Granny about this revival and she started smiling and said, Tally, people don't write storylines your mind is made to fit you. They scream plays and play the house make you. So make sure you produce your own movie and then show that the picture. <laughs> oh, Granny had a grown up the vine and would drop one on the dime, especially whenever she saw me hanging with a bunch of hard heads with soft behinds. She would say, Dallin. You better see the sign when trouble's flashlight shine. Cause fools don't know they went blind until they doing time. <laughs> now I understood this proper metaphor in a rhyme, but mama was gonna make for damn short sure exhort in my mind. Mama would say, boy, trouble been looking for everybody. That's why I resign, wait for the assigned time. Because having a humble mind causes your soul to shine and trouble's eyes can be blind. But nigga, you hang on these hookers and trying to make the headline. <laughs> hey, are you not the one calling down on the phone? Cause when trouble's flashlight shine, you look black ass, damn sure it's gonna be too hard to find. Uh, mama was a two-headed camel, whose mouth was the rich that got her mother with. Now grandma was spiritually slick, my mama talked a lot of shit, and I'll be damned with them ghetto proverbs they didn't most fit. Now when it came to sex affairs, oh yeah. Mama taught me to be aware with the seals care because she knew in the crazy mass of the real world that's filled to the frill with lazy ass girls. A woman that takes care of her business affairs is rare. She would say, boy, these hoes here, you want to slap pulling out your pubic hair. <laughs> if your lust don't have the self I felt to put your dick in a pussy that's going somewhere. <laughs> now, being inspired by the wise words that my mother inspired, my granny's wit was quick to take that wisdom a little higher with her slicks be fired. Because she'd been playing the game. Her age frame had long retired to a career where she pure young faces running them bases. Her status was umpire. She would say, darling, <laughs> darling, <laughs> this 
called him. She would say, darling, these girls have your little Oscar Mayer burning in the hellfire. <laughs> I don't care if it's the color you desire, the system is fully right. You don't put your gas in a car with flat tire. <laughs> Since the song lets me love, but she really with two different cars. And just mine must have found this chasm and failed to keep him solid. For love is that trip that will cast your relationship into a storm and warm orgasms came up. With hormone dips, sex, thoughts, or thrown with freakiness and hex hearts, whether you're not down or willing, somebody's bound to catch feelings. Granny would say, darling, you better have a full water tank to drink and being in heat is old quicksand of a hazard. Cause after a while, that little child's coochie massage gonna turn into a mirage and you gonna find yourself stranded in the desert. Uh, I remember that you had a camel whose mouth was a rich man called him on the way. Now, grandma was spiritually slick, my mama talked a lot of shit, and I'd be damned if them ghetto proverbs they didn't both spit. Alright? Y'all come here with me what I do, alright? Cheerio, it's been a show kicking a bowl with you. I gotta go, so I bet you on two. So I kept my sense of music in mind. Maybe it wasn't gonna last a long time. So keep your health, keep the dream cold and sweet. Until the next time you put some more on me. And as the light gets a cold, stop the ball. I give a toast to you all.